wants to say son of a bitch The same with you who hates most Nintendo shit I'm the one who calls games what they are I even own a 360 and hate Gears of War Guy who spends his money on games Fuck a car, just a funny guy who became a YouTube star well, it's been years since I've seen Ghostbusters 1 or 2. Um, I did watch them, however, a lot when I was a little kid. And I did rewatch, I think, the first one a couple of years ago, but I really don't remember them too well. I remember the big things, such as the big, puffy uh, marshmallow guy and Slimer and so on. And, of course, the main characters. But, um, really, I, I really don't remember too much. So, when picking up this game, I was hoping, you know what, maybe this will refresh my memory. So, really, all there's left to say is, who are you going to call? So right away, you're thrown into the Ghostbusters world as this new recruit, join the Ghostbusters team, and you're ready to obviously capture some ghosts. That's your job now. And uh, all everything that could go wrong goes wrong. So without spoiling anything, you just know you gotta go and capture a bunch of ghosts that really just, you know, terrorize the shit out of people. So what's really good about the story is it's all voiced by all the stars of the movies. The CGI scenes bring the feel of the Ghostbusters to the game. Not only the CGI scenes, but the normal scenes. I mean, this game really feels like Ghostbusters thanks to the story. And there's some great one-liners that you can expect, of course, from the stars of the movies. Um, the really only problem I have with the story is the reuse of characters from the different movies really kind of hurts it. In a way. I mean, they do explain why they're using these characters again, but without spoiling it. It just, I felt it was a cheap way out and I'd rather play like a flashback or something. But overall... But in the end, the story is fun to go through, and you get to roll with the Ghostbusters. I mean, that's fucking badass. This, to me, is the strongest part of Ghostbusters. First of all, the graphics for the effects are kick-ass. They're kick-fucking-ass, to put it nicely. They just, they look great. I mean, the, the way, the streams, the capturing, the uh, the effects when the, the ghosts come and uh, lift up tables and shit. And the ghosts themselves look great. I mean, it's just a great looking game. The environments are stunning at times. Um, the way they levitate, uh, as I said, the tables and chairs. And you can actually, like, hit into them and they're still levitating. It's just beautiful physics. Um, the only really problem I have with the graphics, some weird uh, movements. Kind of like when you fall down in Grand Theft Auto 4. Looks kind of weird, same thing here, but overall the graphics are, in the end I have to say, stunning and I love the design. Okay, so we come to the one of the most important parts, the gameplay. Everybody's wondering, you know, oh yeah, it could look like Ghostbusters, it can sound like Ghostbusters, but is it fun to play? Well, rest assured, this is mostly a fun game. There are some problems, and you know what, I'll, hit, I'll hit up the problems first. Let's be honest, there's some cheap ass attacks from the big bosses. Even the regular enemies, but mostly the big bosses. They'll come at you with these fucking attacks over and over again until they kill you. I'm even showing footage right now of getting my ass kicked. And why is that a problem? Because sadly there's some stiff mo uh, movement problems in this game, especially when you're trying to run away. You could dodge, but it doesn't always work. Especially when a boss has a radius kind of attack. You're basically going to get hit no matter what. And that's basically the only problem I have with the movements. Otherwise... You know, the game gameplay is mostly good. Let's hit up the good now. Um, it's fun to capture the ghost. It is. It's actually a lot of fun in my opinion. First, you shoot them with the stream, get them hurt. Then you grab them and you, like, slam them different uh, ways to weaken them. And then you put them inside the capture thing. It's a pretty cool way to do it. Um, but luckily, this game doesn't just force you to capture every ghost you see. You get to kill some, too. So it all works out that you don't get bored of keep capturing the same ghost over and over again. Um, I really love how the enemies and how unique they can be. Um, I mean, one enemy actually took the files out of a cabinet and turned into a fucking monster made of paper. Now, that might sound so, you know, it's not like, oh, that can't be threatening. But have you ever been paper cut? I mean, imagine that, but with claws. Yes, paper can be very evil and kill you. So it works out really cool the way that enemies form into these different, uh, well, forms. Um, there's fun bosses in the game. Like I said before, you'll revisit a lot of the older bosses from the movies. Well, they're not really bosses, but big baddies such as the Marshmallow Man and the uh, Slimer and so on. So it's always cool to see them and fight them. They're always fun to fight. And 
I think there's actually some pretty cool puzzles in this game. I mean, they're not very hard at all, but they are fun to do, especially using the, the slime gun. I thought there was a puzzle where you have to pull down the bridge. Um, I, I think I have footage of it. I'm showing you right now. It's pretty fun to do. So overall, the gameplay has a lot of strong points. It has a few weak points that hurt it in the end, especially the movements hurting when you're fighting a boss. It is a tough battle. But overall, I had a lot of fun playing Ghostbusters, and capturing ghosts never really got old for me. Okay, so here comes my overall finishing opinion. Enjoyment. Is this game enjoyable? That's your big question. Well, I have to say, it was a very fun game. And it really feels like a true Ghostbusters game. Not that I haven't played, I mean, I haven't even played one before. But this game to me just captured the feeling of Ghostbusters, brought back all these old memories of when I was a kid. And I had a blast playing it. Playing, you know, with the team of the Ghostbusters, having them all voiced by the actors. This game felt very cinematic, and I just had a blast. And there's also um, some, you know, length in it. You can beat it both online and offline. I mean, there is online, but there's also the offline campaign, in which you could um, play on easy, normal, and hard. So after you beat normal, you could play on hard. So there's that too, and the online, which is uh, basically uh, like select levels, and you have to capture the ghosts, and whoever captures most wins, and stuff like that. Um, really, the only major thing that I would have loved and would have pushed this game into the 9 section is the co-op. There should be co-op campaign online. Imagine four people playing co-op. This would be the best Ghostbusters game ever. It would be a fucking... Uh, you know what I'm saying. Sadly, it's a missed opportunity, and I really feel like they should have put it in. There is co-op online, but it's not the whole story mode, which would have been better. But um, overall, the game is just a fun game. If you're a Ghostbusters fan, I'm sure you're going to love this game. I'm not even a huge Ghostbusters fan, and I loved it. So it's not quite the best game. But if you have any interest in Ghostbusters or just want to capture some ghosts or shoot the shit out of them, this game does the fucking job. Now, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Okay, I sounded really corny when I did that, but the effect is that this game captures such a good feeling that it makes you want to be in the Ghostbusters. And I'm going to shut up now because you're probably sick of hearing me now. So goodbye, enjoy, go buy, rent, I don't care, just play this game.